Have you ever thought about whether becoming rich would be beneficial? You've bought islands, blasted into space, and gone shopping without looking back. Being affluent is wonderful in every aspect, but you know what's even better? Betancourt Mayors, Mask, Gates, or Bernard may earn as much fortune as they like as wealthy royals, but the world's 10 wealthiest royal families just have an edge that no one can match. Welcome to Luxurious Vibe! Let's go over the list of the 10 richest royal families in the world. The Royal Family of Liechtenstein Liechtenstein is a small, landlocked country that is 5 miles broad and 60 kilometers long. It's also tough to spot on a map, but don't let its small size deceive you. This European country is one of the most powerful in the world. Liechtenstein has the world's second highest GDP at $165,028 per person, after only Monaco. It also has nearly no national debt. I know, I'm surprised. It seems to be the reason that the royal family derive all of their riches from a bank they privately own, LGT Group Bank and Investments. How wealthy is this royal family? $7.2 billion when compared to the other people in this movie, $7 billion may not seem like a lot of money. But remember that monarchy comes with benefits that most affluent non-royals do not have. For example, the country's monarch, Prince Adam John Adam II, who is the richest man in the country, does not have to pay tax on any of the billions he makes. In fact, none of the family members are required to pay taxes on the income they make. And they also have a diverse portfolio of high-value investments and properties ranging from real estate to world-class collections of masterpieces by Raphael, Rembrandt, and Van Dyck. Dubai Royal Family Dubai is the most populous city in the UAE. It is also the reason why men feel that money can buy happiness since. Before the turn of the century, most of Dubai was a desolate wasteland, similar to Nevada without Las Vegas. It is now the world's number one tourist destination, owing to the vision of members of Dubai's royal family, the House of Maktam. They are one of the seven monarchs that make up the United Arab Emirates, and they have ruled the Emirates of Dubai for nearly 200 years. The royal family is worth $19 billion in total, and consists of 12 close relatives and hundreds of extended family members. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the dynasty's leader, is the ruler of Dubai and predictably the wealthiest member of the Dubai royal family. Much of the family's fortune is invested in Dubai Holdings, which owns luxury residences around Europe, as well as one of the world's biggest ships. Many Arab royal families are known for showing off their wealth, but the Sheikh's oldest son, Rashid bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, seems to have taken it to a whole new level. He drives gold-plated Lamborghinis and Ferraris. He also has custom-built tanks that he rides around the desert in. The Royal Family of Morocco Most people are unaware of Morocco's history which dates back to the 6th century BC. The land had been inhabited for thousands of years, so it stands to reason that the Moroccan royal family, the Alawite dynasty, is one of the world's oldest royal families, as well as the only African royal family on the list. It is made up of 19 main family members. The Alawite dynasty has ruled Morocco since 1631 and is now led by King Muhammad VI, who ascended to the throne in 1999. They have a total net worth of $20 billion, which comes from investments in assets. King Muhammad owns most of these investments and assets. King Muhammad VI also owns four palaces in Morocco, each worth half a million dollars. He has many more of these opulent residences all throughout the globe. However, the most gorgeous of them all has to be the Casablanca's Royal Castle. Despite having all of these properties and so much money, the king only earns roughly $500,000 each year. The Royal Family of Brunei Brunei's royal line, the House of Balkia, has ruled for over eight centuries. The royal line was formed in 1363 and has controlled the Southeast Asian country sporadically for almost 900 years. The family has done quite well for themselves, amassing a fortune of over $30 billion USD. Brunei's royal family lives a life of unbridled excess. According to Guinness World Records, Sultan Hassan al Balkia of Brunei has the world's biggest residential palace. The gold interiors of the 200,000 square meter Istana Nurul Iman mansion are well known. Unsurprisingly, the royal family controls all of Brunei's vast oil reserves. They also have one of the most expensive planes in the world. A $400 million private 747-300 that was made just for the Sultan and is used as its official mode of transportation. In addition to the planes, the Sultan is said to own a large collection of supercars, including 600 Rolls Royces and 300 Ferraris. The Royal Family of Thailand 
Thailand's royal family in the Chakri dynasty has ruled the country since 1782. Mahavajri Lankan, who is better known as King Rama, is the current king and head of the royal dynasty. He ascended to the throne in 2016 after the death of his father, King Bumibol Adulyadej. The family's fortune is estimated to be over $60 billion, and the royal property department has been in control of it for almost 80 years. However, it has not halted the monarch's excessive spending. Since King Rama took the throne, the royal family has lost a lot of love and respect of the Thai people. This is mostly because of how much money the king spends. His coronation, for example, cost the government $31 million since it needed 1,300 people and elephants to be paraded for six and a half hours outside Thailand's Great Palace. More recently, the eccentric king spent a fortune on the funeral of his pet poodle, Fufu. Prior to its that, he had the habit of dressing Fufu up as an air chief marshal whenever they went to formal events. And when he died, Fufu was given a four-day, multi-million dollar Buddhist funeral ceremony. I'll accept that Fufu is a nice pet name, but is it really necessary? We aim to bring you videos about luxury and fun living and create a community for luxury enthusiasts. If you liked the video so far, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. The British Royal Family don't be surprised to see the British royal family ranked fifth on this list. They may not be the wealthiest, but they are unquestionably one of it, if not the most influential. First and foremost, the British are not extravagant with their riches, and there have even been allegations of the Queen instructing her attorneys to fight for confidentiality when it comes to how much she is really worth. However, most estimates estimate her net worth to be approximately $500 million. The Crown Estate, the Duchy of Lancaster, and the Royal Collection, which are all owned by the British royal family, are worth a whopping $88 billion. I mean, the Queen can travel around the globe without a passport, and most members of the royal family are so well-liked that they have access to anything and everything. But the wealthiest royal isn't even the Queen. It's the seven-year-old who may never assume the throne. Yes, as strange as it may seem, Princess Charlotte, the fourth in line to the throne, is the wealthiest member of the British royal family. Her stated net worth in 2021 was $4 billion. Owing to the young princess's obvious flair, she has changed the way a lot of kids dress and if she keeps doing that, she will be worth a lot more in the future. The Royal Family of Abu Dhabi Arab money should be a definition of excessive riches, particularly oil wealth. The Al Nayan dynasty, Abu Dhabi's reigning dynasty, neatly matches that description. They're worth an amazing $150 billion, and the oil trade is where they make most of their money. Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan, the famous leader, has been president of the United Arab Emirates and Emir of Abu Dhabi since 2004. And as the chairman of the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, he controls assets worth more than $696 billion. One of his most recognizable properties is Dubai's Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest structure. According to The Guardian, Sheikh Khalifa is also one of London's richest landlords. He has a $7.1 billion real estate portfolio that generates $205.9 million in rent each year. Unlike the British royal family, the Abu Dhabi family is open about their riches and does not hide them. The sheikh's boat, Azam, is the biggest of the royal family vessels, the world's largest, not the largest of the group. The Royal Family of Qatar Thani has dominated Qatar since the mid-19th century. The present emir, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, 42, is the world's youngest king. Surprisingly, the Qatari royal family owns more real estate in the United Kingdom than the British royal family. The Qatar royal family has $335 billion in assets, including the Shard skyscraper in London, the Olympic Village in London, and Harrods department store. The family also owns a lot of Barclays, British Airways, Volkswagen, and the Empire State Building in New York. However, their real estate business has come under scrutiny in recent years. Papers from the infamous Panama Papers show that the royal family of Qatar avoided paying $25.2 million in property taxes by spending $163.4 million in two homes on Cornwall Terrace in the center of London. The royal family also owns the gorgeous superyacht Katia, as well as the French football club Paris Saint-Germain, which has topped the league ever since. The 2022 World Cup Finals in Qatar is suspected of being bribed. Oh, the horror, but oh my, they've changed the nation for the event with state-of-the-art stadiums and hotels. The Royal Family of Kuwait 
Boys and girls, a of money prevails once again. Kuwait's royal family, the Al Sabah line, and the current emir of Kuwait is Sheikh Sabah IV, Ahmad Al Jaber Al Sabah. Since 1752, when this family took over Kuwait, they have made both Kuwait and themselves very wealthy. Their original source of wealth was their oil wells, but with so many other oil producing nations to compete with, you had to diversify or you end up like the British family, which is exactly what the Al Saba family did. In 1991, the Kuwaiti royal family was believed to be valued at over $90 billion. They are valued at more than $360 billion. This huge increase in wealth was a direct result of very smart investments, most of which were in blue chip American companies. Their huge amount of money has been well spent on things like expensive planes, homes all over the world, exotic animals, and a hundred million dollar super yacht called Samar. They are unlikely to cease anytime soon. The Royal Family of Saudi Arabia 1.4 trillion USD. The wealthiest royal family in the world is the richest of the Arab royalty. And for this man, if you're not talking gold, you aren't talking at all. The royal dynasty House of Saud has held this title since 1744, only a few years before the Kuwaiti family acquired control of the kingdom. The House of Saud, on the other hand, is much wealthier with an estimated net worth of $1.4 trillion. The wealthiest family member is King Salman Al Saud, whose personal net worth is believed to be $18 billion, which is more than double the net worth of the Liechtenstein royal family. The family's tremendous fortune is, unsurprisingly, highly unequally disbursed among its members. They have a pension for gold plating every luxury object they purchase. They also have a thing for exorbitantly priced super yachts. The royal family's crown prince, Muhammad bin Salman Al Saud, is said to have purchased a $400 million mega yacht called Sirin from a Russian tycoon. There are two helipods, a submarine, and a nightclub aboard the 439 foot long vessel. There wasn't even talk that the prince had put his $450 million picture in there. What is the name of the picture that cost $450 million? That, of course, is Leonardo da Vinci's 500 year old painting Salvatore Mundi. What is an Arab ruler doing with the Jesus painting? My assumption is that it is an investment that only Saudi royal family millionaires can afford. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave us a like and subscribe for more amazing videos. Turn on the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video.